You do not have to be a boss babe to have accomplishments and success in the way in which you structure your life. Hello lovely feminine women, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for tuning in again. Thank you for liking, thank you for commenting. You know the whole spiel that I tell you, but I truly am grateful for all of you. If you happen to stumble upon my face, there is a fancy button down below. It is a red subscribe button, and I love this button because you join our community where we talk about femininity, we talk about girly topics, and we also dive into homemaking. It really is a lovable place. I definitely feel like the channel attracts most of the time, very nice people, and I find that that is just a gem on the internet. And basically, I would just love it if you would join this community. If you have any questions about me, my inspiration to start this channel, my background information, you can go to the About Me section of my YouTube page, or you can scroll down below to the description box. Today, we're going to talk about the sparkle effect, which I feel is a reference to a Disney movie. Perhaps this was used on the Disney Channel. I don't know. That's not my intention for using it. I wanted to use the sparkle effect not only because it is a catchy title, but because it really embodies some of the values that I want you to cultivate as a feminine woman. Some of the, I guess, aspirational goals of how I want you to really view femininity. Terminology that is similar to the sparkle effect could be magnetism, radiance, vibrancy, etc, etc. You know that my background is in pageantry as well as in modeling, and one of the things that I noticed working in this industry is that there were women who were not necessarily women who fit the typical mold. They might have been too old. Some of them might not have been the right size or the right height or have the right proportions, but for some reason, they would get chosen. They would get booked jobs. And the biggest reason why I think this is, is because they had the type of feminine sparkle effect. They had that type of magnetism that caused for people to really be attracted to them. It caused for people to just not get enough of their feminine energy. I want you to have this sparkle effect because I really think that it would cause for you to win in life. And winning, I do not mean competitive spirit. I don't think you should have a competitive spirit as a feminine woman. What I mean by winning is accomplishing your life goals, accomplishing your workplace goals, accomplishing your family goals, finding that masculine man and living your happily ever after. Whatever it is for you, I want you to achieve that. And one of the ways that you can achieve that is through harnessing the feminine sparkle effect. So today I'm going to give you a few quick tips on how I think that you can do this. And I would love it if you would leave me a comment down below and tell me how you are trying to achieve this or how you have achieved this. I would love to know. The first umbrella topic is feminine mystery. I have talked about in the past, I made a whole video on feminine innocence. I want you to go watch that video after you watch this video. I'm going to link it down below because feminine innocence is one of the ways where you can maintain your type of mystery. Feminine innocence causes for you to put up a type of shield between you and the world. This doesn't mean that you are going to be naive. This just means that you are going to guard your heart. Another way where I think you can become more mysterious is to implement concepts of modesty. First off, of course we have the very obvious concepts of modesty, which is the way in which you dress. Are you dressing to activate your feminine side and therefore activate more interior care? character traits of femininity or are you dressing for the outward attention? We are going to get back to this topic in a few minutes. And another way I want you to implement modesty is I want you to think about your interactions, the things that you say, and of course the things that you post, not only physically, but also in your written and your speech. Are you saying things to provoke pity? Are you saying things to try to get a reaction out of somebody else, whether that be pity, again, whether that be flattery, etc. Are you trying to feed your ego or are you posting something that is actually going to bless somebody else and cultivate pure relationships in the long term? The second point is a feminine spirit. We live in a very self-centered world. It is easy for us to get wrapped into this kind of main 
mainstream narcissism. I know this is going a little bit dark for a lot of people and I really want to make a video on fake femininity, but I know this is a highly triggering topic. I even mentioned it briefly in passing on my Instagram and a few people kind of didn't understand where I was coming from. It's no big deal. I just find that this is a very sensitive topic for many people and I totally understand why. What I mean by fake femininity isn't the way in which you show it to the world in relation to your personality. I talked about what is femininity in another one of my videos that I'm going to link down below. But what I mean by that is how are you using femininity? Are you using it for self-promoting intentions? Do you have an imbalance in femininity? Are you more so trying to cultivate the physical aspects of femininity and you aren't so much working on your humility, your meekness, your ability to connect with other people? Are those taking a place on the back burner while you are more focusing on your physical appearance. Women who have the feminine sparkle effect tend to, I guess you could say, vibrate. They tend to emit energy from the frequency of love. This is the like highest and most purest energy and most purest form that there is in the entire world. If you are a believer, of course you know this because of what Jesus Christ did for us and how he died on the cross. But for everybody else, I want you to kind of think about colors. Are you emitting the color of light, which is like a blank, pure canvas? Other things are not tainting that canvas. Your other intentions, the world telling you that you need to look a certain way, your desire to get a type of praise out there that is more superficial, all those things will taint your canvas and you won't be able to project the feminine sparkle effect. A question that I want you to ask yourself is where do you find your identity? Do you find your identity in your accomplishments and your pride and the things that you have done? Or do you find your identity in your character? Developing strong character is going to help you accomplish more of those things. And I don't want you to get blindsided by the things that you have ticked off on your resume. I know that I tell you on this channel that I have certain credentials, but it's not to tell you that other types of life experience are less valuable. I just want you to be able to achieve those things on your list, but to understand that femininity and the more pure aspects of your soul and your spirit are ways in which you are going to get to that point. The feminine is very process oriented. Are you striving to get that career or that degree because of the way that the world will view you? Or are you actually striving to do it because there's something about getting it that causes you to nurture that process oriented aspect of femininity? Are you posting that lovely picture of yourself outside in your favorite dress because you enjoyed writing the beautiful caption of it? Or you enjoyed wearing that dress in the wind or are you doing it because you want to attract male attention or you want women to strive to try to be like you, to emulate you, to be envious of you, to be jealous of you. I've talked about these topics on my channel before. There is so much to be said about this topic and I could take every single minute point and make a video on it. If you are following me so far, please take a little bit of a breather, grab a cup of coffee or you could drink some water. Please remember to like this video, you can pause it for a little bit, come back. We are going to talk about the more fun aspect of feminine sparkle effect, the feminine sparkle effect, which is your physical, of course. But we are going to dive a little bit deeper because I do talk about physical a lot on this channel and the physical is an excellent tool to cultivate your femininity because the physical helps you feel more confident, which will help you present yourself in the world in a more feminine way. However, I challenge you to focus more on the health aspect of your beauty. If you focus solely on the vanity, on the way in which you apply your makeup, the clothes that you wear, you are going to get a little bit distracted because the outside world, of course, tells us that that is the most important thing. But I guarantee to you, and I'm telling you, that there are so many models and there are so many people who are successful in that industry and that have that feminine sparkle effect that focus more on health and the rest just falls into place. When you focus on health, you are again tapping into that love energy because you are loving on your body. You are taking care of your body, the insides of your body. And this is going to help you have the feminine sparkle effect because you are laying the foundation to then focus on more, I guess, 
superficial elements of beauty. One of the ways that I have seen many women do this is to eat more plants. This sounds very, very straightforward, and I know many of you are sensitive on the vegan topic, the plant-based topic, and I'm not telling you to become a vegan. That's not what I'm telling you. But there is something to be said when you see so many women who are eating more plants and they just have a type of radiance that you cannot explain. I believe that being a feminine woman means that you are very in tune to nature. I have talked about this a lot on my channel because I like to go outside, I like to be in nature, but a big way if you are limited by the weather, etc., and a big way that you can even amplify this is that you can eat natural foods. Just try to eat more plants. I'm not saying, again, to get rid of meat. That's not what I'm saying. I am just saying that, especially in North America, we are a little bit too much on the processed foods. I have seen many of you growing your own gardens and I am, I am actually envious of this because I wish that I could have a garden right now and I can't have a garden right now because of everything that we're doing to this house, but my mother has a garden, so I'm hoping to help her with her garden. Long story short, a great way to tap into physical feminine, radiance feminine, sparkle effect is to grow your own food. It's kind of like the circle of the world. And the last thing that I want to encourage you to do is to embrace the concept of being put together. And I do not mean in your appearance. I'm talking about overall in your life. Just because many of you I know are homemakers or many of you are students does not mean that you cannot be put together in your life. Does not mean that you should embrace the hot mess lifestyle. Try to take pride by setting small goals in your everyday life. If you have a hard time with this, start having an agenda. You do not have to be a boss babe to have accomplishments and success in the way in which you structure your life. Another tool that I have mentioned countless times on this channel, but is to develop your emotional resilience. This is going to help you have your life put together because you're going to understand how to really grasp those curveballs that are thrown your way. One of the biggest ways that I do that is of course to read just a little bit of the Bible every single day or to search for, I guess, sermons, talks, podcasts about specific topics that I might be struggling with at the time. I am totally not qualified to preach to you about any of these topics. I just like to infuse a little bit of Christianity here and there. But I do hope that this is a gentle reminder for those of you out there who might need it. I could ramble on and on about this topic, but I'm going to leave it at that. And I'm going to ask you to please list down below how you try to develop, how you try to show, or how you have had success with the feminine sparkle effect. I will see you in our next video. I love you all feminine women. Bye-bye.